Good morning, my name is Lauren. If you are new here, and if you're not new, then welcome back. I am a third year medical student for this week only, and then I'm done, which I'll talk more about that in the next vlog. It is the week I've been dreading, which is exam week. My shelf is on Friday, today is Monday, and it's gonna be a rough week. But because it's the beginning of exam week, I thought it would be really fun and informational to bring on a special guest on my channel. He's been on my channel before, Eli. I went to college with him and he is now a dental student at Boston University. I'll let him introduce himself. Morning everybody. My name is Eli. I'm a third year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. Today I'll be vlogging a day in my life for Lauren's channel. We are doing a joint day in our lives today and just showing you how we kind of kick exam week off. We hit the ground running, how hard we work at the very beginning of exam week. So it should be a really great vlog. It is just before eight o'clock. I am running, running out the door. I have to go. I'm on family medicine. So I am seeing patients from eight to 12 today. And then we're gonna do some studying, but let's go. My beautiful child is bird watching. He was just facing the other direction, I promise. Bye Vako, I'll miss you. I'll miss you. It's currently 7.15 in the morning. I have a patient at school at 8.30 a.m. So I'm currently getting ready. I just finished packing lunch, packing my bag, etc. Plan to have a long day at school today with patient from 8.30 to 11.30 class from 1 to 2.30 and then another patient from 4 to 7. Every dental school is different but in general you start seeing patients your third year of dental school and you have your own patients that you see in the clinic at school as well as taking didactic courses in your third year. A lot of schools don't have didactic courses in their fourth year including mine so I'm just about getting ready to finish up my didactic courses in dental school. My last exam is April 12th, but today is going to be pretty busy because I have a final for one of my classes on Thursday. I do need time to study considering I just came back in from out of town at 1 a.m. this morning. I'm up and ready to go to school at 7.16. If one of my patients ends up no showing or canceling, then I'll have a good amount of time to go study in the library. You do deal with a lot of no-shows and cancellations in dental school. I am going to try to squeeze some studying in in my free time, and hopefully I can make the most out of today, even though I have a long day ahead at school. Around like 7.35, I'll be catching the bus to school and bring y'all along with me. Let's go. I am in the clinic now at school, setting up my room. Here's what the room looks like. Um, I got my computer over here. Quick thing I wanted to mention, since I know this is a med school channel, there's probably a lot of pre-meds on the channel. The whole time that I was in college, I was pre-med. Honestly, all the way up until two years after I graduated, I took the MCAT, all that stuff, and I switched to being pre-dent and applying to dental school. Now, the reason why I switched is because, well, there's a multitude of things, but I always had an interest in dentistry and it really started to grow after college when I got braces again. So I went and shadowed a dentist, my cousin, for a week. I stayed at her house. She owns a dental practice in Atlanta. So I got to see like what being a dentist is like, what being a business owner is like, and what life outside of the dental office is like. And I was truly convinced. The reason why I decided to explore this interest I had is because there was really only one kind of physician I wanted to be. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. And I was like, one, I don't want to go through med school and wish that I had explored that option without actually doing it. And two, orthopedic surgery is like a super competitive specialty. Like, what if things didn't work out that way? Would I be miserable for the rest of my life? I don't know. So I'm very happy that I made the switch. 10 out of 10 recommend if you're a pre-med and you're like interested in dentistry to just explore it, you know? You're not taking the easy way out or giving up on your dreams. But if you have another interest, it's worth checking out and making sure that's not what you want to do or making sure it is. Hello. Oh, Good morning. Man, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> uh, that's why I ended up switching from pre-med and here I am, third year downstairs. So I'm going to finish setting up my bay, see my patient if they show up and catch back up with y'all after. I just saw my second patient. First one was just a blood pressure check. 
Second one is a new patient, establishing care, no medical conditions. <laughs> They're like a doctor's dream to be honest. So really quick visit. I have some required observed things that I have to do. I have to take a family history, do remove systems, do a head, ear, nose, throat exam with the otoscope and the ophthalmoscope. You know, look in the eyes, nose, mouth, ears, scalp. And then I also have to do a dermatologic exam and like describe a skin lesion. So I'm hoping to get all those things done today. Hopefully with this patient. I'm waiting to go back and see the second patient with the doctor. Just finished in the clinic. It is 11.55. I got an exam done. We call them summatives here, but it's basically just like a competency. You do a procedure unsupervised and you get graded on it. I also had to do lab work after. I had to take impressions and like pour up the models. So I'll show y'all what those look like when I go back later on. Right now I have an hour until class. I have to run a quick errand. So I'm gonna get that done and try to make it back to school before one o'clock. I'm trying to convince my friend to be in the vlog for a second, but today is Monday, March 11th. And today is the day that fourth year medical students find out if they matched and they don't find out where they match that's on friday but they find out if they matched my mentor fourth year medical student matched into plastic surgery and i'm so excited for her so now me and my friend who refuses to be on the <laughs> vlog are gonna look through instagram to see who else matched <laughs> my clinical day is over it's 11:46. I ended up seeing three patients. The fourth one that I just went in to go see rejected me. She didn't want a student, which is so fine. I, as a student, do not get offended. It definitely can extend the visit sometimes. After I leave here, I'm gonna go eat something and then go study at the cafe. And my invisible friend will <laughs> join me. I can't lie, y'all. It's looking like I'm gonna be a little late to class. Like, it's a tiny bit, but I have a full day and I, I had to get this errand done, heading back to class as soon as the bus comes. One facet of their autism diagnosis is they cannot tolerate being in the dental chair for more than 10 seconds. They sit in that chair, they're terrified. They're screaming, they're running out of the room, they're breaking the window, they've hurt your staff. Like what does treatment look like for that? Treatment would look like desensitizing at the dentist. It's been a hectic day. I've been running around a lot, but I just got out of lecture. I went to the lab to take my models out that I poured up before I left school earlier. This is what they look like. I didn't trim them or anything yet. I'm actually gonna do all my lab work tomorrow because I don't have class tomorrow and I only have one patient. Tomorrow I'll trim them up, mount them on an articulator. I have a patient at four. It's currently 2.57, so I still have an hour, but maybe whoever's in the current clinic session is done in the bay. And I can just like sit down, set up, and like I don't have to rush. Just got to, oh my god, the bags. Daylight savings time has, it's hit me hard. I think it's hitting everyone hard because it happened yesterday. But I just got to the cafe. I'm going to start studying now. And my plan is to do a practice exam, review the practice exam. Let's go in and drink some coffee and start studying because I've been playing around the last week because I'm tired of third year and I think this practice exam is going to hopefully it won't scare me into shape but something like that might happen. It is now 6 30 p.m. Just finishing in the clinic about to get my stuff and go home. It's been a long day at school to say the least but we'll talk more when I get home. It is 7 p.m on the dot. I do have an exam on Thursday. I did not have time to do any studying at school today because both my patients showed up. I got two summative exams done, which is good. Definitely getting ahead with my requirements. I need some time to rest and relax, so maybe like an hour, eat some dinner or something, and then I can start studying around like eight o'clock. So I'm just gonna keep it super realistic. It's 9.40 and I'm just sitting down at my desk. I really chilled till nine o'clock, so two hours. Then I went to the store because like I said, I just got back from out of town, so I didn't really have much food in here. And now I'm sitting down at my desk. 
I'm probably gonna watch one lecture and call it a day. I'm super exhausted still. I have a good amount of free time tomorrow, so that's when a lot of my studying is gonna happen. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm glad to be a part of Lauren's vlog. I wish I had more energy right now, but I, like it's truly just been that long of a day, daylight savings, time change, messing me up crazy. If you're interested about dental school, watching dental school vlogs and stuff like that, make sure to follow my channel, Student Dr. Eli. Thanks for watching. I am home now. It is currently 10. It's pretty late. I just scored my practice exam and it went well. <laughs> it actually went really well. I was a little nervous. Family medicine is kind of bringing all of the things that I learned throughout the year together because it's internal medicine plus OB plus peds. I'm really satisfied with myself. <laughs> I am going to keep studying for a bit, but I'm gonna close out my portion of the vlog. It's just gonna be me on my couch studying with him sleeping next to me for the next bit of time. I don't have to work in the morning tomorrow. I only work in the afternoon. So luckily I can kind of stay up later today and then sleep in tomorrow. As this video, clearly states it is exam week if you're not new to my channel then you know i usually film the last couple days of exam week including me taking the exam and then usually i have like some sort of social plans after the exam and then i do my wrap up which i will still be doing that for family medicine do not worry i'm still gonna share that whole process so this is kind of like a bonus video to see how we start exam week off and then i will have another vlog after this that will be those couple things so like my last clinical day of third year ever <laughs> which is wednesday and then me studying on the rest of wednesday and thursday me taking my last shelf of third year on friday and then of course i have social plans after and i have social plans on saturday so i'll probably include that and then i will do my family medicine wrap up you will find out if i'm gonna be a family medicine physician so i just wanted to give that little update in case you were confused with this video but i want to thank eli so much for coming onto my channel and us doing a third year in a row of our little med student versus dental student series. I'm sure we will be back for a fourth year vlog. If you do not know, he has a YouTube channel as well, of course, so please go follow him. I will tag him in this video and I will leave the link in the description as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you kind of found it a little informational or if you got some study motivation out of it, that's great too. If you liked this video, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and join me next week for my very last third year vlog. So crazy, bye.